While I believe we are still safe to wake up and smell the roses, I certainly do not think that this woman ever thought that she would um, accidentally drug herself by sniffing a flower. Apparently it's not just magic mushrooms that we have to look out for, but another flower known as the devil's breath. I'm gonna get into all the details in just a moment, but first if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. TikToker and singer-songwriter Raphael Wayman recently posted to the platform to talk about this absolutely terrifying experience that she had just after smelling what looked like a regular regular, normal, everyday yellow flower. In her video, she goes on to explain how her and her best friend were walking to another friend's house and just could not stop smelling this flower that they had found along the way. Unfortunately for them, this flower that seemed so innocent at the time is actually considered to be one of the world's scariest drugs. What's worse is that after sniffing the flower, all of this hit them as they arrived at their friend's house. She goes on to explain her experience saying, when we arrived at our friend's birthday, we both suddenly felt so effed up and had to leave. When I got home and fell asleep, I had to be crazy craziest dreams and experienced sleep paralysis for the first time in my life. After this nightmarish experience, she decided to look into exactly what this flower was. She goes on to say, Turns out the flower is super poisonous and we accidentally drugged ourselves like idiots. And as I mentioned earlier, this flower is also commonly referred to as devil's breath and this hallucinogen is a potentially deadly narcotic. The source of the flower is called, and excuse my pronunciation, Burundanga and a Vice News report actually described the effects of this flower quite well. They said in their findings, The deal with Burundanga is that it pretty much eliminates your free will so you're awake and you're articulate to anyone else watching you it seems like you're perfectly fine but you've completely lost control of your own actions so you're at the whim of suggestions and that's how people take advantage of you not to mention the fact that inhaling larger doses can actually bring on more deadly consequences although Raphael shouldn't feel too dumb for doing this according to the US Department of State this flower is known to hospitalize as many as 50,000 people a year in Colombia alone thankfully though even more people will become a aware of this dangerous plant because she put out her frightening story. A lot of people would just feel, you know, too embarrassed to share this story, but then what happens? More people end up accidentally smelling this flower. Let's just spread good information and good awareness. Now thousands of people that didn't know can watch the video and learn from her mistakes. But we'd love to hear your thoughts on the devil's breath, and while you type away in the comments below, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Man Didn't Know About Women For 41 Years. Yes, that's real. Chen Kaifeng says, truly terrible what wars can do to the people. Oh, it truly is. If you want to hear uh, more specifically about, you know, Vietnam War and what happened in Japan, I recommend Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. He did a whole supernova in the East and it is truly wild what wars can do to people. And this stuff is very recent as well. Coral Reefer says, rescued or captured, I prefer to be completely isolated from the rest of the world as well. Yeah, the, the word captured that they use several times in the articles that I was finding, I just found to be very strange that they would say captured and not rescued. Val White says, he must have the grip strength of a polar bear, Jesus. He had no desires, Kyle. No desires. Get your head out of the gun. FN says, I can't be the only one who was waiting to see his interaction with a woman. Yeah, I honestly was waiting for a video like that too, but hey, if there is an update to the story, we will definitely bring that for you. Cassidy Jones says, how long would you survive in the jungle? Like an hour? I, if that. I bet, I bet the first thing that happens is a mosquito stings me and I just... That's it. It's, it's just game over from there. Either way, guys, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.